Hello there. <clears throat> I hope you've enjoyed the previous shows. Be sure to check them out because you'll understand more about what we're trying to accomplish here if you do that. And today we're going to address the pancreas and the gallbladder and the holistic components of their healing which are your responsibility. This is nothing that the doctor can do. You have to take care of these things and which are seeds to future ill health and disease. So if you master them, you're going to be a healthier person. And each show will be doing a different organ, all dealing with the mental, emotional, spiritual diet and nutritional aspects of your healing so that you're not at the mercy of needing medical care. Okay, so let's get started now. Now your pancreas has dual functions. One part of it is, it, it is its digestive function, and if that's not working properly, you're going to get gas and indigestion. And the other aspect is its hormonal function, and if that's uh, not working properly, you're going to have, most commonly, hypoglycemic symptoms. And uh, when there's disease present, of course, it's diabetes. And mental and emotional stress are very common here, uh, and must be dealt with. Nutritionally, uh, pan uh, pancreas extract is very good for meat-eating people, carnivores, and for vegetarians, saw palmetto seed or celery seed are very uh, useful herbs for detoxifying and strengthening uh, the pancreas. Now, as far as the gallbladder is concerned, it uh, releases bile juices that are made in your liver, and then it, it places them into the small intestine, and so. In these juices, uh, there are substances that allow you to digest your fats properly, bile salts, and it also releases toxic substances that the body is eliminating uh, from the bloodstream into the intestinal tract. And uh, symptoms commonly, nausea, a very common uh, gallbladder symptom, a foul gas after food, indigestion of fats, and uh, very uh, complex uh, digestive symptoms, really, compared with the stomach and the pancreas. And the mental emotional stress, uh, mental is not common, emotional stress is very common and this is where we internalize uh, anger, rage and fury against ourselves from whatever has happened to us in the past and that must be released or the gallbladder will not heal in a holistic fashion. Yes, you can have it cut out surgically uh, but the cause still remains. Uh, nutritionally, stone root, parsley root are very effective in helping the detoxification uh, of the pancreas, uh, I mean of the gallbladder, and uh, you will find that some people uh, have a, a need to flush their gallbladder using olive oil uh, or coffee enemas, and uh, there's a protocol for doing that here. Uh, so the liver and the gallbladder are very important aspects of digestion, and I'm now going to show you certain muscles in the body that are found to be weak on objective testing when you have these problems. Uh, now here's the liver aspect of this. This pectoralis major muscle in the chest is always found to be weak when the liver is underactive and this then will affect the gallbladder and its acupuncture circuit also. Now here we have the gallbladder aspect and this shoulder muscle that's found to be weak with gallbladder problems and also another muscle behind, a little muscle behind the knee is found to be weak also. Whereas with the uh, pancreas is on the spleen acupuncture circuit and the triceps muscle behind your arms is the muscle that's found to be weak with pancreas problems whether it's indigestion or hypoglycemia and uh, sometimes it'll be excessively strong in diabetic people because the acupuncture system is working so hard to try and balance you out. These charts are from the uh, Touch for Health organization and are uh, very useful in seeing uh, how different organs and acupuncture circuits connect with different muscles. Well, there you have it. Some ideas about dealing with the gallbladder and the pancreas. You know, if you have a lot of digestive distress that just doesn't heal, it's worthwhile addressing all of the organs of digestion, taking each a herb for each for a couple of weeks, along with doing the emotional work to remove the negative emotions from these organs, then you have the best chance of getting well. Be sure to uh, look at the website, drstenbeck.net, and uh, you can see uh, free chapters there, particularly on the mental, emotional, spiritual stress, and uh, see a list of all the shows that are in preparation, and uh, be sure to take advantage of the, my offer to uh, 
give you free feedback on any one health issue you have. Be happy to do that for you. If you have anything more complex, you're going to need an online consult with me. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this, and in the next show, we'll be dealing with another very important issue, the unconscious mind and how it internalizes negative emotions in different organs and is an emotional seed of ill health and disease there. So be sure to tune in, and uh, I'll be seeing you then, okay? All right, bye-bye.